Hello and welcome to the world of Odium. This is episode 14 and today we're going to do some more work here on our hot springs. Um, but before we do that, I want to wish a very warm welcome to the newest member of the Odium server here. And if I haven't mentioned it before, our newest member is the lovely Mistina Rose, um, who's going to be doing a lot of really interesting stuff here with us. She is an incredible builder. Um, she has kind of a new channel, um, but uh, she's got some incredible builds that she's done on the Wells Knight Patreon server. So I'm going to be including a link to her channel in the description below. Please be sure to check her out and see the incredible stuff and subscribe to her as well. So anyways, I did a little bit of work between episodes. Uh, just kind of expanding this a little bit. I add a little bit of coloration up in there. Not much. A little bit of dark gray, a little bit of light gray. Um, I expanded out the uh, white area where the uh, the stuff that comes up out of the ground, all the silt and, and uh, sediment and whatnot would have built up around here. Um, and you can also see that I've got some carpet down and you see some smoke coming out of it. Um, it kind of serves two purposes for us. It's going to provide a little bit of lighting in the area, but it also simulates uh, the heat that would be coming from this geyser as well because, you know, the water is being superheated in the ground and then shooting out into the sky um, before it comes back down. And this is done really, really easily. Um, you just need some carpeting um, and and a torch and let me just kind of pop this off real quick and you see to get it to work you have to put a torch on the side of a block if i were to put it down here in the middle the particles wouldn't come through the carpet uh, but if you put it on the side of the block then those um, smoke particles will show up through the carpet and kind of give us the steam effect that we're looking for so we are going to start on the color pool. So let me reach into my chest here. Um, I've got a chest full of, that's what I'm looking for there. Let me go ahead and move that out of the way. Set that down there. And this is going to be our color palette. We're going to be using blue, yellow, orange, red, and green for this. And this could be the white too, um, and the, the wool is going to be turned into carpeting, but we're going to be using concrete powder because I did manage to get a, a decent supply of concrete powder. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you what the palette's going to kind of look like. Let's kind of lay this out a little bit here. Um, blue and green. So we're going to go blue, green. yellow, orange, red, yellow, orange, and red. So the outside ring is going to be red, followed by orange, and yellow, then green, then blue. And the reasoning behind this is uh, you got your primary colors here, red, yellow, and blue. Your secondary colors of orange and green. Uh, orange is in between red and yellow. So if you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. And it's the same way with green. Yellow and blue combined together gives you green. So that's kind of how we're looking at this. Uh, let me go ahead and pick this up real quick. And my overpowered shovel here is uh, digging up all this stuff. Right, so let's put this dirt back real quick all right now it's going to kind of come out from here we're going to start out here and then we're going to kind of do a circle of red and then the orange yellow green and then the big patch of blue in the center so i think what i need to do first of all though is kind of dig out the area where the um actual pond is going to be the color pool 
so and I'm probably gonna have to knock down that tree and possibly this one here um, I have to look and see so let me get started on digging this up and uh, let's see if we can get a time lapse of some of this while I'm doing it Okay, so I kind of got this down a little bit where I think we're going to want to start off at. So let's, um, let me go ahead and fill in some of this just a little bit here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of lay out the outer ring in red. Kind of um, figure out how big we want to make this. So... We can knock out some more as we need to. This uh, shovel is uh, really powerful. I think somebody's got a beacon around here somewhere that's uh, helping it out a bit. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna start with the red now. Is that all I have is 32? Um, okay, let me check. I thought I had more than that. I have red wool. I might have to get some more uh, red concrete concrete powder, um, but let's go ahead and let's just kind of um, fill this in a little bit and see if we can make kind of a a, a ring around this. some of these corner spots we can always come back and and touch it up a little bit I'm probably gonna have to go and yeah I'm definitely gonna have to go and get some more red concrete powder for this um, let me pick up these saplings it's just gonna drive me crazy if I don't okay so let's switch over to orange and it looks like I got 31 of that, so I don't have an awful lot of it either. And let's kind of drop this in here. here we might 
take it down a bit. I'm probably going to take down the yeah. Let's see, orange. Let me do this. Let's see. It's, oh, I don't have much of that either. <laughs> I am really prepared, aren't I? Um, that's going to give me six pieces of carpet. Uh, nowhere near enough. So I'm going to have to get a bunch more of that. But let's see. It doesn't really match, does it? That's all right. So the idea is kind of, it's just kind of steps down and then the yellow, or the, you know, the yellow is going to be like at this level here. So let's get some of that down. this too but you'll see here okay let's go ahead and um, pop up a couple of these here like this let's go ahead and dig that out there 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 and then I'll show you we're gonna take a torch put it on the side of the block like this and I'll put this one like this just so you can see let me get my carpet back and if I put the carpet on top of this one, you see there's smoke coming here, but if I put it on there, it stops. Where if I put it over here, you can see it's still coming through. So, I'm going to go ahead and fix this one then, just so that it's going to be doing what we want. Thought I saw something over there. All right, so... Let me kind of uh, do a little bit more here with the yellow, uh, get a little bit more of a ring going, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I got the yellow down. Um, still got a little bit left. Let's uh, work on some green here, see if we can get, I don't have a huge amount of that either. At least get a little bit of an outline going. And then we'll toss in some more carpeting and um, maybe make the blue go down yet another layer. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, now let's see, blue, let's go ahead and down one more. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. We're going to step down with the blue carpet. sleep real quick before I have a creeper blow up in here on me. Alright. Alright, so let's switch over to our blue, which of course is the one we have the most of. Um, That's fine. We kind of want it to be like this nice blue pool in the center here. Like that. Okay, maybe we'll knock 
No. Let me see. Can I not grab that green? Guess not. Let me. I don't need that. Uh, of course, I picked it back up. Um. Anyway, let's uh over here. Put some of this stuff away real quick. Just toss some of this junk in here for the moment. I'm gonna give that wood to Stina. She needs it for a project she's working on. Um, and let me see, I want my blue wool. Let's go ahead and make some carpet out of it. Oh, let me take about half. Don't need that much, but let's go ahead and lay that out. got the layout here I, I definitely need to get a lot more supplies I thought I had more than what I did Let's see if we can jump up here real quick and kind of get an idea of this okay it's not horrible um, so anyways let me um, work on this a bit more um, I'm gonna have to get a whole bunch of supplies and we'll finish it up in the next episode so, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>